Power Play! On this episode, I'm gonna focus on how to store and protect your sports cards. I think having a visual, um, we've got the overhead so we can kind of see what I'm doing in front of me, but to have a visual as to how this works and why you do it, at least from um, you know my opinion. By the way, this isn't gonna be the best way. Um, I used to collect cards back in the day, which I'll talk about um, when I was um, much younger. This is about 13 years ago, um, and I've recently gotten back into it. So um, let's get going. And um, basically what I have here um, are some NBA hoops cards, basketball cards, and I believe a Pokemon card. So um, pretty much what you'll get, you know, say you, uh, you know, buy a box and you open up packs, you're going to have your cards. Now, um, the question many of you may have is, how do I protect the cards? What do I do with them? You know, how do I make sure that they're in pristine condition? You know, does it matter? Um, well, the simple answer is yes, it does matter. Here's what you want to do. Some people will ask and say, hey, I have dust on my card, you know, how do I clean it? Typically, you just don't want to touch the card. What you can use are cloths for lenses, uh, for glasses or camera lenses. Um, these are very affordable and you can clean off dust if you do see some. Again, beware of the corners and pretty much scratching the cards. You don't want to do this. This card is really nice. It's actually centered really well too. Um, we'll get into that. Um, hopefully we'll have Frank on too and he'll discuss how he would grade cards or not. But typically centering is just when the card is actually printed in the center of the card. So you don't have, you know, the picture on one side or the other same ways as your, you know, your um, X and Y axis, up and down. Um, but typically you want a clean card, and what you want to do is get a penny sleeve, which is over here actually. So these are very cheap. These are uh, modern card sleeves. <sighs> so these are modern card sleeves, um, also known as penny sleeves. Typically um, they come in 100 sleeves, and I got these for a dollar fifteen or something like that. Um, that's Canadian, so um, I'm sure you can get them even cheaper if you bulk order them. Um, but what you want to do is grab a sleeve like this. Okay. What I do is I just pinch it a little bit and see how it opens. Just pinch it a little bit because you want to be aware of the corner. So um, no matter what the card is, try not to touch it too much with your hand. I always kind of touch it from the outside. And then what you want to do is just pinch it a little bit and it makes it open. And then you put a corner in and you slide in the rest. Now, every time you do this, you have the potential of ruining the card. Um, but automatically when you get your cards, whether it's going to be a long hold, short hold, um, especially if you pull something good like we'll talk about in here. Um, I do have some rookies in here. Um, uh, you know, you want to immediately put them in these sleeves and that's what we're doing today. Um, so that's one form you could take this put it into a box or go into your binder and put it in there as well um, It's not a bad method um, Already it beats the first method that we talked about. I'm um, just wrapping it with something from the kitchen um, Which again is better than doing nothing So then what you want to do once you have your card in a nice penny sleeve What you want to do is put it in a top loader now This is what I do with the majority of my cards and then I leave it there um, so if it's a rookie, um, what I do have is a rookie top loader. So this is a rookie one and it's marked nice. So when you put it into a box, um, it's very easy to identify. Um, I know it seems like, oh, big deal. It has just rookie card on there, but, um, communication is key. Organization is key. Um, I tell you, I got a, a messy room at home, but my cards are very, um, organized and helps. Um, so what you want to do? is again you don't want to pinch but you want to find the edge because on the edge it's open a little bit more because it's tighter in the middle put one corner in and then you just drop it down now what i do is i put it in about most of the way and then what i'll do is just kind of let gravity do the rest of the work and now you can see it's all the way at the bottom um, i try to make it so it's not Completely at the bottom, there's a couple millimeters left, and then that'll give it some wiggle room. This right here is, um, here, let's move this up. This right here is a very good way of storing your cards already. Now, you know, tip, um, you know, in theory, I could, 
you know, put this in a box, move it around. Uh, what you can do as well is grab a piece of tape and the tape is key. You want to use um, either green or blue painter's tape. It won't leave residue on your cards. Please do not use this stuff on your cards for anything. For packaging when you send it out, but don't put it on the plastic at all. There's no reason. People ship me cards with this and uh, it's not good. Like, you don't want this. This this won't leave residue. This, even if you get on the card, you can take it off and it won't ruin the card. This will mess up cards. Do not use this. Don't use that. Don't use that. So, what you want to do? If the card is loose, typically you don't want to put tape on it at all. But if you're shipping it and if you're afraid the card's going to get loose, put one on the top. And then again, around the back. And if you want, you could even do it in such a way where it's easier for, you know, yourself to peel off or somebody else. What you could do is just do a little thing like this. So now it's easier to take off. And now you have a really well protected card. I would be really happy with this. Um, in fact, I would say 95% of my cards are protected like this. So if you look at that, very nice. So that's one way. Um, let's get into a different way. Now, this is probably Bird's favorite way. Um, we've argued over this, believe it or not. Um, he thinks this is probably the best way to protect your cards, even beyond this. So if I turn on, on this side, what you see at the bottom, these little notches, once it's in, you put the card in and it just works on magnets. So what we could do here is grab, we got a little Trey Turner card, very cool top Chrome card put it inside, and I believe this will only work with modern cards, you'll know the, the, the difference. So again, you put it inside, make sure no corners are exposed, and then you drop it like this. So now, you know, you could shake it, it's not gonna get damaged. Um, and I believe the upside to this is that you'll have um, more protection from the light. So over time, cards you'll have in a binder, they'll start turning yellow. Um, as well as something like this. So unless you store it properly, um, this will protect better over time. So a way to protect it, again, just lift it from the top and then it pulls out like that. And then you can take out your card however you want. That's kind of a cool way. Same thing, I believe a Pokemon card will fit in here too. Yep. So again, if you want to protect Pokemon cards, you could put them in these nice, um, you could put them in here, just slide this in and let it fall. And that's a really nice way. It's a good way to ship it too. And again, what I would do, grab a piece of painter's tape, not the other tape, painter's tape, and then just tape this over. So again, this won't accidentally fall or get damaged. Now you have a well-protected card. You could mark it when you bought it, what you bought it for. And again, this is a really great way. Um, the one downside is the cost of it. Um, you know, um, this will run you, oh man, hard to say exact price. This would probably run you like 30 cents, 50 cents at most, when this would be at least a dollar or two. So, and then the other way, and I believe this is how you send cards in for grading, is this um, little sleeve. So BGW, um, I believe this is what you use when you send cards in to get graded. So um, what I would do, again, get a card sleeve and they do have thick sleeves too so if you do have um, older cards or if they're bigger you have the thick sleeves but the thick sleeves will not fit in these top loaders so I don't use them really um, so let's grab this Trey Young rookie this is a very good card this is a card I am um, selling actually I have other ones of him um, maybe we'll clean that first so again see a little bit of dust here a little dirty mark just lightly, you know, keep these cards clean. Um, you know, the it, it seems like, you know, there's so much care with card collectors, but it makes sense. I mean, um, there's a, a huge difference between a nine graded and a 10. You're talking about doubling your money um, oftentimes. So again, um, you can use gravity, but what you can do is kind of use your finger just to push it in the rest of the way. Just feel the card, use common sense. Um, 
you know, uh, don't wreck the card. Just let gravity do the work. Um, you can even pinch the sides. This one's a lot harder to get in here. It's also, um, this card kind of sticks a little bit more, but I can push it down a little bit more. Um, something like that is quite nice. Um, let's get into um, another little method here too. So if you don't have sleeves and if you're just, you know, you just have cards that you're not super, um, you don't care as much about, what you can do is take a few cards. I'll grab these guys for now. And then you could just put them in um, something like this. This is just a plastic card holder. And then you just have a little lid. So that is a way. I mean, I feel like this is a good way to protect cards um, if you immediately do this and leave it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because you're taking them in and out. Um, in fact, the, the holder on them isn't so great. I think you're just, I would rather stack these um, than just stack cards in, in one of these. They get scratched more easier. Um, you typically, typically what's gonna ruin cards and damage them is you playing with them. Um, obviously, we're I think we're beyond the days of throwing cards at a wall. Um, but again, just using common sense, using multiple sleeves, I think is the best way. Um, multiple, um, uh, you know, thicknesses and protection. So, but the other way of uh, protecting your cards is to get them graded. Now, once you get them graded, obviously it costs more, probably costs the most. However, um, when they're graded, um, they have, I believe, protection from light. And then, um, you know, they're, they're not going to get damaged because they're properly inserted by a professional company. So this is a PSA one. Um, this is a uh, Ronald Acuna 10. It's graded 10 too. Um, this is a really cool card. I've been waiting a long time to get this one in. And then the ultimate way, again, is to um, get them into, um, you get them graded. Once they come back, you put them into a team bag. So again, you just roll it over and then bam. This is like the ultimate way, these two, how to store cards. Um, I would say that um, these are uh, my favorite ways of storing and protecting cards. Um, again, you can put them in a binder. But I don't like that idea, and unless you're gonna stack them up nice, where you know gravity isn't flattening them, um, this is the best way. These sleeves and um, the graded um, cases are going to protect the cards, and they're not gonna fold or bend in any weird way. So, again, if I line it up, uh, I'm gonna go from best to worst. In my opinion, I do like this, but I don't think it's better. And then again, um, this is a thicker card, and this would fit in a thicker plastic. We'll do, just grab a card sleeve. Now, when you have a thicker card, this is a Robert Thomas. This is Bird's favorite hockey player, Robert Thomas. Um, on a card like this, you just gotta really take your time, otherwise you'll, you'll wreck the card. Um, especially when they have the jersey one, you might need to use the thicker ones. But I got this one pretty good. And this one you could see, it's hard to see, but it is thicker on the top. At the top there's a lot more room in comparison to a different card. It is thicker, so it will fit the thicker cards. So again, put it in like this. Push it down. So, um... Let me take this out just to kind of show you the differences. But in my opinion, I really don't like this method much. But in my opinion, I would say that um, this is the best way. And it starts declining from there of protecting your cards um, in terms of uh, using your penny sleeves, top loaders, um, those types of options. I find that. This is the best way to protect your cards. Um, and again, um, think about it logically, you know, how am I going to protect my cards? 